welcome back to my channel my name is Erin Kathleen and today we're doing this look right here um I think it's really beautiful not to just you know whatever toot my own horn anyway I think it's really pretty I really love how it turned out I love the eyes I think they're super versatile like you could switch up the lip color but I really wanted to do this pop of like I really wanted to use this so, wanted to do the pop of color. I think it turned out really pretty all together. I feel like you could do it, you know, for a nice summer evening or, you know, during the day. It's very versatile and all that jazz. But yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this look right here, please uh, stay tuned. And yeah, let's get to the video, shall we? Alright, so before anything, I'm going to be doing my brows with this Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and the Foolproof Brow Powder, both in number 5. And then to prime my eyes, I'm just using my Maybelline Concealer and some Maybelline Translucent Powder to set it. Alright, so for the eyes today, we're going to be using the Friendcation Palette. So first, I'm going to be going in with this large fluffy blending brush with the color Basic, and we're just going to be placing that all in our crease. Alright, so next with the color Necessary, I'm going to be going in and concentrating that more in the actual crease versus, you know, diffusing it all the way up, you know, right underneath the brow bone, I suppose. Next with more of a tapered blending brush, I'm going to be going in with Churro and just kind of like placing that completely in the crease and then at the outer corner of the eye. Alright, so then with this little eyeshadow um, brush, we're going to be using the color Chains and just laying down a base um, at the very outer corner of the eye and then dragging that into our crease. Um, first, we're going to try, while well, we're going to blend out the majority of it um, without the use of any other shadows, and then we're going to use the colors Necessary and then Churro again, just to further blend it out and then deepen it back up. Alright, then we're going to use the Tartiste Clay Paint Liner in black. Then going in with our finger, we're just going to be putting the color Just a Kiss over the top of our shadows. Okie doke, and then we're going to be using the Lily Lashes in the style Miami. Um, these are the faux mink ones. So with this tapered blending brush again, I'm going to be taking the colors Churro and Necessary and just like going back in just to deepen up our crease like I don't want to bring it down onto our lid space it's just for the crease specifically and then just to blend out the upper edges of our crease with you know that other space underneath the brow we're going to be going back in with basic all right so I'm dumb I forgot that I needed to you know prime my face first but I didn't so we are doing it kind of backwards I would recommend priming your face before color correcting, but I'm using the orange for like my purpley bluey tones and then the green for more of the redness. This mother effort just did not want to blend out. Um, anyway, I just added a little bit of that green over top of that because I was like, what the heck, it looks worse now. Um, but yeah, then I just used the Maybelline Age Rewa Concealer just to kind of go over the more darker areas and the more red areas. So I do it on the hickey and on my more red areas, like I said. So then I realized like, wow, hey, I needed to actually um, prime my face. So I went in my with my pore minimizing primer and just pushed those into my most porous areas. And then with the e.l.f. primer, the hydrating one, I went around the rest of my face. So for foundation, I'm using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. And I will have the color listed down below because I'm not quite sure what it is at the moment. Alright, next to cream contour, I'm going to be using this Hoola Bronzer Quickie Stick all over my, you know, areas I need bronzing. However, for my nose contour, I really like to use this LA Pro Concealer. Um, this is in the shade Toast. I use it underneath my lip, um, in between my cupid's bow and alongside it, and then on top of it. I just feel like it, the way it's shaped makes it so much easier. All 
Alright, so we're going to go back in with the Maybelline Age Rewind Wine Concealer and we're just going to go underneath our eyes and get this right up next to our contour. It'll definitely help, you know, blend it out later. And then we're just going to be putting this at the highest point of our face. Alright, so to brighten up the under eye even further, I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape. Um, and then definitely afterwards, after I make sure everything is blended out and there are no creases, I'm going to be using the Secret Brightening Power Powder by <laughs> Laura Mercier um, to set and bake underneath there. Okay, to set the rest of my face, I'm using this Hourglass um, Face Powder. I'll have that listed below as well. All right, to snatch the little nosy, I'm going to be going in with the first shade from the Shade and Light palette while I still have powder underneath my eyes baking um, because it helps to blend out the contour if you still have some powder there by drawing that powder up and over the lines and then also pressing them underneath your eyes. All right, to bronze up the face, I'm gonna be using this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I love how this smells and I love this bronzer. It's so pretty. All right, to add even more dimension and to contour the face, we are going to be using the Shade and Light palette, the first two shades at the bottom, obviously. <laughs> So we're going to be using the Mario Badescu spray just to add some life back with all of these powders. And I just like to always like press it in with the Beauty Blender. Just like to mesh it all together. Alright, so with this Girlactic little duo thing, we're going to be using the pinky shiny shade. And we're just going to be putting that right on the apples of the cheeks. This blends or will blend in, you know, the contour and the highlight. Right, to highlight, we're going to be using this Fuego Highlighter by Dos Colors Desi X Katie. Okay, so now that mostly everything is done, we're going to go back in with our eyes. And I want to just like deepen up that crease a little bit. So I'm going to be just taking Churro and Necessary a little bit together. Alright, and then I'm going to be taking Just a Kiss again and putting that right like concentrating it on the inner corner of the eye. But then going back in and just kind of like topping up the lid space okay so for our lower lash line i'm going to be taking necessary and that's going to be our first color because it's going to be able to be the lowest um just to kind of like help those little creases if you have them all right so next we're going to be putting on some churro and a little bit of cheese but it's going to be right next to the eyelash line and the water line Okay, so now we're going to tight line again with that Tartise Clay Paint Liner and then we're going to be topping off our lashes with this Mile High Club um, Mascara by Wander Beauty, upper and lower. Okay, and you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to be taking a little bit of Churro, Jeans, and probably a bit of Necessary just to kind of like deepen up the outer corners and then the crease. All right, so blend to blend in the highlighter, we're just going to highlight underneath our brow bone and then right on top of the brow as well with that same Fuego highlighter. Um, and then afterwards, we're just gonna add a little bit of actual blush. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in Deep Wine. Um, just a tiny bit, and then we're going to um, blend it out. Top it off with some Mac Fix Plus. Alright, so then with the Valentine, I believe it's Valentine, um, anyway, with this pink liner from the Valentine's Collection from Kylie Cosmetics, I'm just going to be lining my lips. Alright, and then the piece de resistance. This is the Stunna Lip Paint by um, Rihanna, the Fenty brand or whatever, in the color Unlocked. Alright, and then I just added some gloss. You definitely don't have to. I just kind of wanted something. I've just been feeling glosses lately, especially like for summer. 
So now I'm just going to be going back in with my little eyeliner and filling in all of my birthmarks and slash making new ones that are pimples. Alright guys, so this is the final result. I hope you enjoy this look. I honestly love the eye look. I don't know if you can really see all of like, I think the sparkles is really, really pretty. I feel like this, you could definitely pair with a nude lip, a red lip, really any color. I wanted to do something a little different because uh, I love like a more neutral eye. Honestly, this eye is kind of like hardcore in itself. So for some people, this might be a little extra, but I wanted to be able to use my new Fenty um, Unlocked little paint thing I have worn this color already just the one time or just like one time whatever and it was really nice I feel like this I don't know which one's more expensive to be honest because I feel like this color is like literally the same I'll, I'll maybe I'll put in a little comparison um, to Valentine by Kylie Cosmetics um, I don't know if it's still available because it was I got it like a year or so ago like during Valentine's time when she did whatever. Anyway, so yeah. But it looks really nice. I really like the like the feel of it. However, like when I first wear it, wore it, it's not doing it now. So I don't know what's up. Like if I had something like too much like lip gloss or like chapstick on my lips or whatever. But like it transferred on my teeth a lot. Um so just be careful with that. I think you have to just really make sure it dries down. Also, it does transfer on like clothes. It was not completely dry. So because I had like a swatch of it when I first went into sport and it literally got all over. So that was unfortunate. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this look. I really love the eyes, honestly, just even by themselves. Um, like I love like a bronzy, browny, goldy eye and yeah. I liked it with the this pink pop of color, but if you guys want to do like a more natural like nude lip, I think like a brownie nude would really, really be pretty with this as well. I think you could do it for daytime or nighttime. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty versatile. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave any nice comments or questions down below. Nice being the keyword there. Um, anyway, but yeah. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.